extended melee, long range sniper, no skill gun, unfair, overpowered. I love this gun so much. That is the Garena shotgun in a nutshell. It's been a year since the last time I made a full shotgun tips video, so I thought that maybe I should make a more in-depth guide about it. So if you're trying to improve your shotgun skills from scratch, then you are in the right place. I'm going to cover all of the tips that shotgun noobs need to know, but better. Feel free to skip some parts that you're already familiar with. We'll talk about class setups, proper positioning, movement, and many more. But first, let's start with settings. There's no such thing as a perfect setting, but we're going to adjust a lot of stuff so we can get the ideal settings for you to use. I recommend you to use a three to four finger HUD because the more fingers, the better. Having an extra finger allows you to move fluidly and precisely and helps you react to threats faster because using a shotgun means you'll be engaging in gunfights a lot. You might want to set your firing mode in the control section to hip fire since you'll be using hip fire for most of the time, so we only have to worry about aiming our crosshair and tapping the fire button. For players that use both the R fire button and left fire button, leave it at ADS only if you like to slide cancel a lot for crosshair placement, which I will talk about later. If you're going to commit on playing shotguns or being aggressive as your main playstyle for life, then I highly suggest you play on a higher FOV since close range fights involves a lot of movement. And this way you'll be able to see your enemies properly even with a lot of movement going on compared to when using low FOV values. Also have a sensitivity where you can do 180 degree turns with one swipe while being able to switch targets consistently, so take your time to fix your sensitivity in the training mode until you hit the sweet spot for you. Alright, now we're finally done with the basic settings to get you started, let's now move on to class setups. For the red brick, I suggest you have lightweight for that extra movement speed boost that we need, gung-ho to allow us to shoot and reload while running, or quick fix for a fast heal after every kill for the green perk. And lastly, the one and only dead silence which is self-explanatory for the blue perk, and since shotguns only have a limited range, make sure to have a pistol as your secondary. Not only does it help you engage enemies when they are out of range or when you're low on ammo, it's also lightweight which is a perfect choice when running around the map. I suggest using the GS50, MW11, and the J358 since these are the most reliable pistols compared to the Rinetti which struggles at mid-range. Or just use a melee weapon if you like slashing enemies, or punching rather. Frag grenades, Molotov, thermites are okay to use for lethal equipments, flashbang concussion, and smoke grenades as your tactical equipment is the best choice, but it is more of a personal preference and will likely depend on the map as well. However, I personally like using smoke grenades since when I'm against enemies who like to play passive and campy, I can just smoke them off and conceal their vision and isolate angles to my favor. And considering that we are playing aggressively, we also have to expect that we will die a lot. Like, a lot. So choosing the low value score streaks such as the UAV, counter UAV, shock RC, and hunter killer drone is a no brainer. But you can still use a higher value score streak like the predator missile, sentry gun, etc. if you know what you're capable of and confident with their skills. So here are some loadouts that you can use and feel free to share your own down in the comments. Now let's talk about positions, no not the one that you're thinking of, I'm talking about map and self positioning. Playing corners, indoors, or in any tight spaces that you can see where shotguns can have the upper hand. Don't roam around and dry peek in open areas without cover as you're most likely to get killed by an AR user mid to long range. Positioning plays a huge role in gunfights and is pretty much the deciding factor whether you'll win a gunfight or not. Stay away from roaming out in the open and ego challenging gunfights that you're likely going to lose. So plan your rush routes carefully, stay close to cover and reposition after every kill as much as possible. It is also better to just hold positions in the map where enemies will come to you and take them out from off angles whenever you can, such as holding entry points, spawn points, and choke points on the map. And this is where dead silence shines because you can utilize it by just walking and sneaking around corners to catch enemies off guard. Now this brings us to crosshair placement or just centering to be short. Centering is crucial to almost every gun in the game and you probably know that already. Not only does it help you swipe less and react to your targets faster, it also helps you hit most if not all pellets when it comes to shotguns. Each shotgun in the game has their own pellet or bullet spread pattern and it highly depends on the way you build it. So it's very important to know or be aware of it. Let's try the KRM for example. It has no consistent or spread pattern but it has an outer circular spread and a few pellets concentrated in the middle which is the best way to describe it. And you can minimize 
minimize its spread by not moving or aiming down sights, which is the best way for picking off enemies that are slightly farther than the usual CQC range. The best way to not get hit markers but get consistent one taps is to center your aim around body level. So avoid looking at the ground while running as it is one of the biggest reasons why you get hit markers since some pellets are less likely to hit. Just be mindful of where you point your crosshair if you have a laser equipped, like the MIP laser or the OWC tactical as your enemies might spot it without you knowing and expose your location. Since you now have mastered centering and familiar with the spread, let's now talk about movement. Being aggressive means you'll be facing enemies all the time up close and personal, especially in close range fights where you have to be hard to track. Unfortunately, movement has been nerfed in the game for a couple of times now throughout the years, but there are still some ways to become a harder target to hit. Since the infamous zigzag has been nerfed, you must be thinking that it's pretty useless now. You're not completely wrong, but it's actually better to run by moving your joystick left and right diagonally rather than just running in a straight line during a gunfight. With this, you can mix a lot of movement with it, however, you like or what you think fits the situation most, such as slide jumping left and right, quick strafing with a mix of slides. It is also a trick to move your joystick backwards suddenly or cock back while running so you can cancel the sprint to fire mechanic. This allows you to shoot without waiting for your gun to go up before shooting. You can use this technique and add it while doing movements to fire slightly faster than before. It is entirely up to you on how you're going to improvise, but be mindful of your movement and try not to overdo it. Your goal here is to give enemies a harder time to kill you and be unpredictable. That's why it's important to have a sensitivity that's perfect for you, where you can aim consistently even when there's a lot of things going on in your screen. What shotgun should I exactly use? I recommend the KRM262 if you want something easier easy to use yet effective. The BI-15 deals less damage compared to the KRM but it fires slightly faster which can be a good thing if you miss some shots. You can also build it multiple ways depending on how you like it. R9 no shotgun takes more skill to use but can be deadly in the hands of a skilled player who can handle a two burst shotgun. Here are the builds for it if you want to give these weapons a try. When's the last time you used a shotgun? Let us know down in the comments below. Shotguns struggle at long range and it takes a while to fully reload, so a secondary weapon could be very useful in certain situations. But which one should you use exactly? Come check out this video right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.